Uh, it's happened again, hasn't it? it? It's happened again. I'm making yet another video about wedding drama. And look, I've seen the jokes in the comments of people saying that I am just turning to like a wedding drama channel at this point, and I wanted to deny it. It's starting to look kind of true, but I promise I'm not. If you actually look at my channel and look at my videos, the wedding drama videos takes up like a very small portion of it. There's just a lot of different bits of drama that fit in this category. Like, believe it or not, in the other topics I talk about, like, I don't know, the shed drama, for example, there's not that many different bits of drama that involves a shed. So that's a one-off video. Weddings, on the other hand, there seems to be a lot. Now, actually, the topic we're talking about today is an add-on from the previous video we took a look at, which involved the key look. This is the key look right here. You'll recognize her if you saw my last video, but she is a wedding makeup artist. And she recently found herself in some stupidly viral drama at this point, like genuinely all these videos talking about it got millions of views. But it all started when she posted a series of videos talking about why she recently got kicked out of a wedding. And she told this like horror story, right? About how the groom was being like really rude to her and she was really upset about it and she ended up getting kicked out of this wedding. Now, the more and more we heard about the situation, it added a lot more context to it, and I I'll keep it very brief here. I made a full video about it. If you want more details, I would recommend checking out my last video. But very long story short, she stayed longer than she was supposed to for the job. She started getting involved in the wedding itself, like, taken away from, like, videographer's time. Because she wanted to take her own TikTok, she posted pretty much everything to do with this wedding, like, tons of clips throughout this wedding of, like, the ceremony and whatnot. Bear in mind, she was obviously there to do, like, the makeup. She also said that she was upset because she was going for a rough time. So she got upset at the wedding and a bunch of guests were like consoling her and then the more and more she stayed She was getting hints that she was supposed to leave Someone actually ended up asking her to leave so she could front the bride about it Now in the key looks deleted response that we spoke about in the last video She mentions that this isn't normal, right? This doesn't happen very often She does many jobs where everything goes incredibly smoothly and I reckon that's definitely true If it wasn't true, we would have heard countless other stories about this at this point But we have started hearing more stuff about different situations on different days and this is mainly coming from this TikToker right here called The Lucky Share or Liz and as you can see she's a wedding content creator and Liz has actually uploaded a video talking about her experience of working with the key look. Hi I'm Liz I'm a wedding vendor and I worked with Kazaya of the key look the now famous she got kicked out of a wedding, makeup artist. Liz then goes on to give a bit of backstory about her job and then says specifically for this wedding, she was there to do content and a bit of coordination. In this instance on 9-6, I was hired by my client first as content. And then when they realized they needed a little extra help, as coordination later. And then goes on to say that the situation that we've all heard about at this point wasn't the first time it happened. In fact, it actually happened the day before too. The gist of the tea is that she did the same exact thing the day before. Now this definitely is some important context, right? Because the key looks like response to all this was saying that she was going through like a really tough time in her personal life. So if that was her reasoning, it could correlate to this as well. Now Liz actually goes on to say that she wasn't even gonna make a video about this situation until she saw that the key look was posting all these videos talking about this wedding. I was not gonna say a word about this. I was gonna debrief it with my bride. We were maybe gonna send a note to the company expressing some of our concerns. I wasn't gonna blast her on the internet. I wasn't gonna leave her a bad review. I just wanted to t have a discussion with her. But imagine my surprise when before I'm even able to debrief it with my client, I see her three part series about her truly doing her worst the very next day. Yeah, I mean, I can imagine that she probably regrets posting that series at this point because realistically it's not really a good idea when you're trying to run a company, trying to be professional, right? And now you're making videos, like talking shit about your clients, which of course in her video, she's saying that this groom was incredibly rude to her. And again, we weren't there. So we don't know, maybe he was, but still it probably isn't the best look for your company if you're making videos, talking about your clients and talking bad about them, right? Because if potential future clients see them videos, they might be put off by that. And obviously on top of that, the main reason why she probably regrets it at this point is because it has negatively affected the business. It must have at this point, which, is a shame to see, right? I don't want to see anyone's business get like negatively impacted, but it definitely will have because this is such a big situation. The videos are getting millions of views and it seems like the vast majority of people aren't exactly on her side. Liz then goes on to say that one of the things that's frustrated the most about this is that it seems like the key look isn't remorseful for anything that happened. And again, obviously this happened multiple times now. The fact that she continues to post content, the fact that she doesn't seem to be sorry at all for ruining two wedding days truly ruining two wedding days. Not cool. But this is the point where we start hearing what happened with this other situation the day before. Now Liz goes on to say that it all kind of started when she showed up late. They proceeded to start late and run two hours over 
time because they were too busy making dinner plans, taking TikToks, and shooting the shit together. Liz then goes on to say that she tried to talk to the key look or the team, like the key look team, because there's multiple of them. But apparently, according to Liz, she was met with hostility. Any attempt to discuss it with them during the day was met with the most hostility I have ever received from a wedding vendor. And apparently this also goes for when the wedding party wanted to speak to the key look and then she goes on to talk about a breach in professionalism. There were some massive breaches in professionalism, making the bridal suite uncomfortable because you took a 40 minute lunch when we were running behind and came back crying and cried through the rest of your services. And then at this point in the video, Liz just lists off a bunch of different instances that happened, including apparently the key look being rude to the mothers of the bride and the groom. Being rude to the moms of the couple. You didn't want to do, saying you didn't want to do their makeup in front of them, challenging their concerns about time. Literally being on your phone so much that you're stopping the services to make dinner plans. Leaving the bridal suite and stopping services to film content of other vendors doing setup. Pulling the bride out of the bridal suite to make a 10 take TikTok that she didn't really want to make. And then attempting to hang around after to film your own content, proceed to get in the way of the photographer, the videographer, the hired content creator, who was me. I was doing coordination and content, and I offered to share my content with them in the beginning of the day, so they knew they were gonna get content and chose to be disruptive about getting their own content anyway. Yeah, so as you just heard at the end of that clip, Liz says that she would have got content anyways, because the wedding coordinator, who was Liz in this instance, would give it to the key look, so she'd have a content. But judging from all the stories we've heard at this point, it seems like the key look just really wants to get as much content as possible. I mean, we saw in a story time video just how much she filmed, and it was a lot. The whole story time was basically just a montage of the full wedding. It seems like one of the biggest problems here is that the key look might not know the best boundaries when it comes to filming content, right? You can't really be going around and making your TikTok videos a priority literally at someone's wedding when you're not paid to do that. And in fact, at this point in Liz's video, she gives a very good example of this happening. Being so eager to film the couple's private first touch that we then literally had to have a member of the family escort you off the premises. Okay, so it seems like, according to Liz, this is two days in a row now where the key look end up getting kicked out of a wedding, which probably isn't the best look for a business. But again, this is in a two day period, meaning it would be all around the same time when the key look said that she was going through a lot of stuff. Now, obviously, if all the stuff that we're hearing is true, that doesn't make it okay. Like that excuse doesn't make it okay, but it adds context to it at least. Now, at this point in the video, Liz mentions again that she doesn't like the fact that the key look is not showing any remorse in this situation. She also goes on to say that she's never seen enough of wedding vendor move like this, especially the fact that she's now making videos talking about the situation. And then also mentions that this is all happening. Meanwhile, the bride is probably on a honeymoon, not feeling too great about it. Meanwhile, you have a bride on her honeymoon who is probably distraught finding out that her wedding has gone viral for the worst reason and you have a bride who will never be able to take photos with that side of her family again will never be able to redo her bridal portraits that were rushed and like not nearly the volume they should have been. Yeah, I mean, it is a good point, right? When you get married, the last thing you probably want is for your wedding to go viral on TikTok because of like a bunch of drama. And you've also got to remember when these videos were first posted, people were kind of flipped. Like people were a lot more on the key look side before they heard more of the story. So in the beginning, you've got a lot more comments going against the bride and the groom who again, are probably on their honeymoon seeing all of this happening. Yeah, I can't imagine that being great. That would probably be the last thing you wanted. Now Liz ends the video by saying that it's okay to want to film content for your business because that's how a lot of businesses grow nowadays, but there's a way around to do it and this wasn't it. And then also make sure to say that no one should be leaving bad reviews for the key look unless they have actually personally worked with her. I don't think you should run and leave Kazaya a one-star review on her business if you didn't actually work with her. And that is pretty much Liz's video. There are some other points that I didn't mention. I thought they were the key points. It's a pretty long video, especially for TikTok. So if you do want to see more, I'd recommend going over to Liz's page. But actually just four hours ago, as I'm recording this video, the key look has actually uploaded a new video addressing all of this, or at least addressing the wedding drama, like the initial one with the initial wedding. And obviously, if you've seen my last video, you would know that this is the second statement and the second apology. And she does start it off by saying that she wants to apologize to everyone involved. I wanted to come on here to apologize to the couple that I worked with last Saturday. 
I also want to apologize to the entire wedding party because y'all deserve an apology. I want to apologize to all of the guests that attended that wedding. Y'all deserve an apology. And I want to apologize to all of the wedding vendors that worked so hard to make sure that that couple had a beautiful wedding day. I sincerely apologize to all of y'all. She then goes on to say that it was never her intention to do all of this. And look, I, I do believe her because why would it be? You're trying to run a successful business. You're probably not going to go out of your way and be like, right, I'm going to ruin a wedding today. So just because that maybe happened doesn't mean that it was her intentions. And um, yeah, she tries to make that clear. It was never my intentions to cause any of y'all any stress, any hurt or any pain. That was never my intentions. I mean, you have got to say though, if this situation did happen the day before, exactly how Liz is describing it, you should probably look at that situation and be like, right, there's a few things I might want to change for tomorrow. And for the same situation to pretty much happen the next day, it's really not the best look. And like I mentioned earlier about the fact that social media is very important for most people's businesses nowadays, the key look does go on to mention this and like says, look, I needed to get content. As a small self-funded minority business, we bank on social media. We use social media as a marketing tool so that we are able to reach potential brides or couples who would love to work with us on one of the biggest days of their life. And social media has like it it has showed us and it has been successful for us, which is which is why we just continue to use it in our business strategy so that we could constantly reach brides who, who are looking for something that we offer. Now, I do feel like that statement probably should have ended with, but in this instance, we used it wrong. All these maybe couple of instances, if the stuff with Liz is true. Like, yeah, again, social media, very important for people's businesses, but there's a time and a place and a wedding day that you've already stayed at for too long and now you're potentially, according to the accusations, getting in the way of other people trying to do their jobs, like the videographers, you're also stressing out the bride and the groom. I mean, that's definitely not the time or place. Like surely as a wedding makeup artist, your content should be like the makeup, you know, the process of doing like the wedding day makeup. I don't really feel like there has to be anything else after that. Because I just end this video by saying that she is gonna tell her side of the story in the next part. So now that some time has passed, I am going to explain the story from my point of view of what took place that day. I totally understand that there are going to be others who have had different experiences of what that day looked like for them. But I'm going to explain what it looked like for me in the next video. Now the problem is here, this video was uploaded four hours ago, as I'm recording this video, and there is still no part two. If we do get a part two in like the next few hours before I upload this video, I will include it. But yeah, we still don't have a part two. And as a lot of the comments are actually saying, to be fair, they're saying, didn't she tell her side in the first series? Which, I mean, she already kind of did tell her side, right? She did like a three part series talking about it all. So I'm not sure what else would be said, but maybe her opinions have changed since then videos. Um, Maybe we'll find out eventually. I don't know. Maybe there'll never be a part two. We're left in a cliffhanger. But either way, that's the situation up until now. I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below on everything that we spoke about. And I'm going to leave the video there. So if you did enjoy, please do have a like on it. Subscribe if you are new. And until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. Goodbye.